Well, each week around this time, we like to take you to yet another unique place here in Western New York. This next one is the center of city government. Until a few decades ago, it was actually the Queen City's tallest building. Channel 2's Michael Luton takes us inside the Art Deco masterpiece that is Buffalo City Hall. In a community full of amazing architecture, City Hall rises above the rest. It was the tallest building in Buffalo until 1970, only surpassed by the rather uninspiring One Seneca Tower. At the start of the 20th century, municipal government was run out of county and city hall, a shared space. But Buffalo's population was exploding, and the Common Council decided it was time for a new building. The city bought the more than 70,000 square foot site right at Niagara Square and broke ground in 1929. Designed by Chief Architect George Deedle and built by the John W. Cowper Company, it was completed within two years and then officially dedicated in the summer of 1932. At 32 floors stretching almost 400 feet high, it has more than a half million square feet of total floor space. That makes it one of the largest municipal buildings in the country. In today's dollars, it would have cost more than $120 million to build. Beyond its size is its style. City Hall is an Art Deco masterpiece, inside and out. Above the eight-column front entrance is a massive frieze by world-famous sculptor Albert Stewart, depicted are 21 figures representing Buffalo. A must stop on any tour is council chambers on the 13th floor, lit by an incredible stained glass skylight. And if you keep going up, you'll make it to the popular observation deck, free for visitors. The symbolic crown on the Queen City, offering 360 degree views you won't see anywhere else. The building is so strongly connected with our rich political history. Two bronze statues honor Buffalo President's Grover Cleveland to the north and Millard Fillmore to the south. <laughs> President Kennedy spoke from the steps of City Hall on October 14, 1962, the same day Soviet rockets were first discovered in Cuba starting the missile crisis. And of course, feet from there is the obelisk in the center of Niagara Square, the McKinley Monument honoring President William McKinley who was assassinated in Buffalo. It's easy to take for granted as the place to pay parking tickets, get a permit, or attend a school board meeting. But Buffalo City Hall is truly a work of art and one of the most unique places in Western New York. Michael Wooten, Channel 2 News, Daybreak.